Recently, when Rishi Sunak was elected as Prime Minister of the UK, he was referred to as the first British Prime Minister of Asian origin. Now, many people didn't consider him as Asian because they think of East Asians when they hear Asian. I know everyone is really excited that this is the first Asian Prime Minister, but let's be clear, Indians are not Asian, okay? <laughs> Asia is the biggest continent with so many ethnicities, culture and civilizations. Then why is Asian imagined as East or and Southeast Asian? And what exactly defines a continent? Long story short, in the West, ethnicity is correlated with a continent. So a white person is from Europe and a black person is from Africa. This leaves Asia being identified with someone who looks East Asian. Thus ethnicity is wrongly connected with a continent. Now the whole idea of modern continents is a western concept. A continent is roughly defined as a geographical landmass divided by water and thus forms a culture sphere. Ancient Greeks considered the Asian sea as the center of the world and so anything to its west was Europe, to its south was Libya, that is Africa, and to its east was Asia. Original Asia was modern Anatolia, which is the Asian part of modern day Turkey. Europe and Asia were divided by Phasis River and the Black Sea, while Asia and Africa were divided by the River Nile. Technically, Asia should be broken down into many continents based on cultures like the Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Southeast Asia, Middle East and Central Asia. But due to migration and invasion, there can't be a clear distinction making the idea of ethnicity and continent completely subjective. Subscribe to Pravyab now for content on history, mythology, fiction, food, culture. This is Prano signing off. Tada!